Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for September 13th of 2024 is titled Aurora Australis and the International Space Station. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image showing a little portion of the International Space Station. And you can see that up toward the upper left hand side there, some of the equipment associated with it. And down below, we see the Earth. And around the Earth, we see a lot of greenish glow. Now that green glow is the Aurora. Now we have the Aurora Borealis in the Northern Hemisphere and Aurora Australis in the Southern Hemisphere. But it's exactly the same thing. This is caused by charged particles from our sun, which strike Earth's magnetic field. They are then funneled along toward the poles. They can go toward the North Magnetic Pole or toward the South Magnetic Pole. And as they do that, they follow along the magnetic field lines and strike Earth's atmosphere, exciting the molecules within it. So that causes them to glow. And we see here two distinct glows. We can see the green and above that we can see the red of the oxygen atoms in Earth's upper atmosphere. Now the two different colors are because of different regions and that we see the green down lower when you're talking about one to 200 kilometers above Earth's surface. And you see the red emission up higher where the atmosphere is even thinner up to 500 kilometers up above Earth's surface. So it has to do with the density of the atmosphere and which lines we will then see. But they are both caused by atoms of oxygen. So not the oxygen molecules that we breathe. Those are two oxygen atoms bound together. These are just individual oxygen atoms there. Now you can see a few other things out in the sky and in fact you can actually see the stars of Orion off in the distance. And in fact the three stars in the belt of Orion just a little bit to the left of center a little ways above the limb of Earth. Now, of course, as we look at Earth, we can see that even from the International Space Station, which is in a relatively low orbit, we can easily see the curvature of Earth showing how spherical it is. Now, we're not you're too close to Earth to really get a full picture of that. In order to see the entire Earth, you have to be in a much higher orbit or farther away, such as a traveling out toward the moon. But even here you can see that distinct curvature over large distances of Earth's surface. And of course that is something that was known to the ancient Greeks. They could determine that the Earth's surface had to be spherical based on various measurements that were made thousands of years ago. So here we get to see not only our spherical Earth, but we also see the glow of the aurora up above that stretching up high into Earth's very tenuous outer regions of its atmosphere, reaching up to the International Space Station. So that was our picture of the day for September 13th of 2024. It was titled Aurora Australis and the International Space Station. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture preview to be if the moon could smile. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.